Hello everybody, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop and today I'm going to make an airplane hand plane to benefit the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Air travel is one of the largest expenses in granting kids their wishes. So to find out how you can get involved by making a toy airplane or just by making a donation, visit makerscare.org. Now, I've never seen anybody make a plane plane before, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm making this project out of some leftover mahogany and maple, and I've drawn up these templates. I'm going to cut these two pieces out of the maple, and then I need to cut the main fuselage out of the mahogany. And I need to cut two of these pieces and glue them together, and then I'm just going to use the rest of the mahogany to cut out the wings. Now I'm going to glue up the two pieces of the fuselage. I'm going to use my drill press to drill quarter inch holes through each side piece to look like the windows of the airplane. And I'm also going to drill a half inch hole through each piece to accept the dowel that's going to hold in the plane wedge. Alright, the glue is dry and I just need to head over to the bandsaw and cut out the main part of the plane. In order to turn this plane into, well, a plane, <laughs> I have to cut a 45 degree angle here where the blade will go and then the opposite angle over here is 60 degrees. I'm going to glue up the fuselage, which is basically sandwiching these two pieces in between these two side pieces. And I'm going to be careful not to get glue into these holes that are the windows or onto the sides here where this V-notch is. I need to be very careful and line everything up. And I'm not going to use a lot of glue because I don't want to get a lot of glue squeeze out everywhere that I have to clean up later. I attached templates for one large wing and one small wing onto my mahogany board so that the side that's going to get glued to the plane is long grain for a stronger joint. So what I'm going to do is cut each of these out on the bandsaw and then resaw them so I end up with two wings of each size. Okay, I've got all the parts of the plane cut and sanded and ready for assembly. So let's glue it together, apply some finish, and bring it in for a smooth landing.
<laughs> hey, check out my new plane. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a Boeing or a Lee Nelson or a Delta or Veritas or a Stanley number no. seven. I'm just going to call it a Carmichael 747. <laughs> it turned out pretty cool. I used the blade out of this old plane and it's pretty sharp. I think it might work here in a minute. I'm going to try it out. Uh, but while I have this on display or if kids want to play with it, I also made a little wooden blade that I could switch out uh, if I ever put this just on display or something. But it turned out pretty cool. Now I'm going to head over to makerscare.org to make a donation and submit the video for my new plane. Because sponsors are making a donation for every plane submitted. So go to makerscare.org to see how you can get involved by making your own plane and submitting it or just by making a donation and make a difference in a child's life. I'd like to thank Steve Ramsey for setting up makerscare.org and giving us all the opportunity to make a difference. Hey everybody, let me know what you think of the Carmichael 747 plane in the comments below. And if you'd like to make one of these yourself, visit my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com where I will have a full article on this project and you can download my templates. Uh, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so so you get notified of all my future fun woodworking projects. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.